So if you can imagine a deer walking into a food plot and looking at a variety like this compared to one that's loaded up with these highly nutritious leaves, very soft and palatable, there's just a tremendous amount more foliage here. You can carry a lot more deer on your property compared to this that has already expelled all of its leaves and no longer palatable and attractive. It's also loaded up with pods. What we do here is replicated research where we plant varieties side by side, replicated throughout a field multiple times so we can look at them in more than one instance. So obviously there's a big difference between these two varieties here on my left versus the, the variety that I'm standing up here. This is Gamekeeper. This is an agricultural type, early season. You're missing out big time on tonnage and protein right now. Gamekeeper is still going to have the green yield that this variety has, but this one's going to be uh, going to be susceptible to the heat, weather, warm weather, warm rain for the next month, and that's going to lower the quality that are in these pods, and it's going to be harder for this to make it through the winter. As you can see here, we're loaded up with bean pods on Gamekeeper. And these will winter very well. This is one of the great attributes of this blend. It's its ability to make bean pods and hold them high quality all the way through March and April of the next year. We're going to do some forage harvesting today. As you can see right here, we have an early season agricultural type. And we're just going to show you the difference in tonnage. Here we have 20 foot sample of Eagle Seed Wildlife Managers Mix. The other varieties we were able to put in small bins that you could carry. This is just too much tonnage to place in those. This is a bed load. So we're going to take this in and take it out and weigh it. And we should have those comparisons for you. Here we have behind us three samples that we just cut and have been weighed for fresh weight. We will allow these to air dry and we will come back and measure the dry weight. This here is our manager's mix Midwest blend that just weighed out at about 96, 97 pounds. One of the reasons we do tonnage testing here at Eagle Seed is to show you the amount of biomass, plant matter, leaf material that you're, that you're going to have for each blend that we offer compared to a competitor or just an agricultural soybean that you could go and buy. As you can tell, there's about three to four times as much tonnage in this variety compared to this variety. This is a 3.5 we have growing right here. This is a late group six, early seven right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Total of seventeen. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Still growing. Part of what we do is select for leaf size, as you can tell. This one has some very large leaves. So we'll measure the nutrient content of these and see if we want to carry this variety forward or not. Massive amount of tonnage here. Why is leaf area index important? It puts a numerical value on the actual leaf area between leaves. As you can see here, this is much larger than this, but how much larger is it? Leaf area index will give us an exact number. I'm going to show you how to do leaf area index. We have special digital photography and software that measures green pixels. So what I have here is a reference, the four points. We lay a leaf on it, take the photo, and the software analyzes the green pixels within the boundaries of this white paper. This is Eagle Seed Gamekeeper Blend. It's got three different forage types in it. And as you can see, this plant in front of me here is still blooming while producing pods all over the plant. It's still generating new leaves, as you can see. And this is one of the huge advantages of planting this variety is its ability to continue to provide highly palatable, attractive, nutritious leaf all the way up until frost. This is mid-September. Here I have the top of Whitetail Thicket. One of the three varieties in Gamekeeper. Blooming, the viney characteristic, Trifoliates, young, tender, fresh. Deer are loving these. Compared to this plant, which is done. Nothing here to do until wait till cold weather. Here we're still feeding deer something that they really like and very nutritious for them. Many of our wildlife and forage customers don't realize that we have a broad range of ag varieties and have had for over 40 years. As you can see behind me, we're harvesting group 3 and group 4 maturity grain yields, and as of yesterday, we had many that went over 100 bushels per acre. 